Salutations, everyone. It's Caden and Lindsay from Achievement Hunter bringing you July's episode of Coming Soon. Without delay, let's get to the multi-platform releases first. The very Metroid-inspired Guacamelee Super Turbo Championship Edition releases on July 1st for the Xbox 360, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and Wii U. This hyped-up version of last year's Guacamelee includes all old DLC as well as new levels and bosses. Self-proclaimed love child of Tetris and Lemmings, on July 8th we'll be able to get our hands on Mousecraft for the PS4, Vita, PS3, PC, Mac, and Linux. Using the Tetrominoes provided, players are tasked to getting three blind mice across multiple crazy stages in an effort to discover the secrets behind a mice-powered machine. It's time to set sail once again on July 8th with One Piece Unlimited World Red for the PS3, Vita, Wii U, and 3DS. Unlimited World Red features 20 playable characters, multiple costumes, 12 different stages, and co-op multiplayer. While Vita and 3DS versions of the game allow for up to four players at once, the home console versions will only allow for two. July 15th brings back Saints Row 4 with a new National Treasure Edition releasing for the PS3 and Xbox 360. Included in this is the full game and all 29 DLC packs in one pretty package. Also on July 15th, Abyss Odyssey drops for the 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. Promising a game that will never play out the same way twice, players are tasked with only one goal. Make it to the bottom of the evil pit and defeat the evil that lies in waiting, or die trying. Adapting is key as you learn new skills and combos while also stealing techniques from enemies as you take a trip into the unknown. The final multi-platform game for July releases on the 29th. Based on the new TV series Lego Ninjago Rebooted, Lego Ninjago Nindroids debuts on the 3DS and Vita, showcasing a more action-packed style of gameplay compared to previous Lego games. Multi-platform is out of the way, so now it's time for exclusives. Nintendo only has one exclusive for July. On July 25th, the previously download-only Wii Sports Club will get a retail release for the Wii U. Joining Nintendo, Microsoft only has one exclusive for July as well. July 22nd gives us the full package in the Racing Game of the Year version of Forza Motorsport 5 for the Xbox One. And Sony hits hard with four exclusives. On July 1st, the well-received Child of Light makes a handheld debut on the Vita. And the Gundams are back on July 1st with Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn for the PS3 and Vita. Notable changes include an updated character roster, Japanese audio only, and a cross-platform save and play feature. 17 years after its initial release, on July 22nd, Oddworld New and Tasty brings us back into the land of the Madokens as a timed exclusive for Sony consoles, meaning you PS4, PS3, and Vita players get it first. And finally, on July 29th, The Last of Us Remastered finally gets released for the PS4. PC gives us a handful of exclusives for July. The new free-to-play MOBA Dead Breed releases on July 1st for the PC. Co-op, tons of guns, and more undead than you can imagine are your treat in over 9,000 zombies releasing on July 2nd for PC. It's over 9,000! Previously only available on mobile devices, Shattered Planet makes the jump to PCs on July 3rd. Dropping on July 3rd, featuring 8-player co-op, the Red Solstice, a horde mode-style top-down shooter for the PC, releases. On July 9th, it's time to break out of prison with The Escapist on PC. Inspired by the classic point-and-click adventure genre, on July 17th, Detective Case and Clownbot in Murder in the Hotel Lisbon gets released on PC and Mac and Linux. Last but not least, it's time for the currently announced DLC for July. Released last month for the 1 and 360, July 8th gives PS3, PS4, and PC players the Call of Duty Ghost Invasion DLC. The first of many Dark Souls 2 DLC hits on July 22nd, titled Episode 1, Crown of the Sunken King, and releases for the 360, PS3, and PC. Promising fixes and tons of new content, sometime in July, Battlefield 4's Dragon Teeth DLC relaunches for the PS3, PS4, Xbox One, 360, and PC. That wraps up July's episode of Coming Soon, so you'll need to come back here to the know to know more.